I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? So Matt, once again, what about to another review? And this is a review for Loran Francisco for Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now, where do I go first with this? Number one, I used to have a review of this, but it got long and gone with the other Godzilla reviews. That's a long, stupid story about that. I can say I have enjoyed many of the Godzilla films, I've seen every single one, live action wise. I enjoy the 50s one for different reasons as to why I enjoy Godzilla versus the Smog Monster. There's some I don't like, but overall, I don't mind the, the franchise. My favorite is GMK, I mean he had a deadite, pretty much a zombie Godzilla with the white eyes and of the dead help create this evil as hell Godzilla like this Godzilla in GMT was a badass motherfucker who could kick the shit out of this Godzilla every day and twice on Sunday just my own opinion I think the Godzilla night could kick the shit out of this I was that a fan of the 2014 Godzilla but with this whole new MonsterVerse thing, I did really enjoy Consco Island. Yes, the two lead actors were not the strongest characters. They're not characters in the vein of aliens like Hicks, Hudson, Ripley. They're not in the vein of Tremors, Val, Earl. But I could deal with Tom Hiddleston. I can deal with Brie Larson. John C. Riley, I thought was really interesting though. And at the very least, Consco Island, I thought was better paced, more just fun more visually interesting with the color scheme and the fact that it took place in the 1970s and the visual aesthetic and a lot of it being in the day so I could see more clearly I can see clearly now the rain is gone unlike this and because in the 70s you have a certain point of the, the soundtrack the the song language, the the fight scenes had a bit of personality where King Kong makes, takes a tree a fucking baseball bat. <laughs> then you get to this. The actors are not the problem, but I don't care for the characters. Did you say, well, man, it's not really fair because characters in Godzilla are not really a big deal. Why? That's my question. Why aren't they a big deal, if that's the case? You can talk about the past all you want, but should there not be an evolution to things? If you go long enough at something, should things not get better instead of saying this, the same, right? Whether it be whatever genre you're talking about, with time, with experience, with creation of more techniques and technology shouldn't things get better 
in terms of writing or characters. Okay, you don't want to go with that? All right. Then give me more exciting fight scenes. Because I'm sorry, these fight scenes don't cut it. There's some nice visual designs of the monsters like Mothra. But in your first hour and 40 minutes, this is a two hour and 10 minute movie. This is what you did for your first hour and 40 minutes in terms of action. Godzilla has a shitty two minute fight with King Dodor where he bites a neck, he does his ass kid, he does his ass kid, and then what, 10 minutes later he gets blown up by the humans and then disappears for like an hour in the movie. Does he, Godzilla first appears like 40 minutes in, has a shitty two minute fight, and then we don't see him until like an hour and 40 minutes, hour and 30 minutes, maybe maybe in between, maybe like an hour and 35 minutes. Let's make a compromise, hour and 35. Rodan has a fun scene where he's fighting air, airplanes and before that and jets and before that he was fucking up a city which made me think I would rather be seeing a Rodan movie can I be a Rodan movie instead kind of says it where Rodan has the best action part of the movie Rodan and Team Dodora kind of have a fight but it keeps getting cut away to the humans that I don't care about so I see him as doing this and then Rodan gets his ass smacked that's all I saw did you really tell me you saw anything especially with the rain and the fog and nighttime which every fucking few scenes there are it's either in the rain the fog both and it's dark I guess this movie doesn't know something called daylight Daylight's against the law, I guess. We can't have daylight in this. Why? Because. <laughs> and then the last 20 some minutes, you did Mothra fighting Rodan. You did Godzilla did his ass hit by King Dodor. Dodor. And then after a couple things, finally does something. I'm like, Team of the Monsters, my ass. You would think as Team of the Monsters, you want to see Godzilla fight other creatures, other monsters. Fight this monster, fight this monster, fight this monster. We'll watch Godzilla Final Wars. Well, then I will. I would rather watch that than this. Then I will do that. Even other, hell, GMK, he did that. GMK, he fought a monster and made it fucking bleed. So he's Batman from BVC. Do you bleed? That guy's on GMK will make you fucking bleed. He took on fucking King Dodora and Mothra by himself. That's how badass GMK was. He's like, and King Dodora was kind of the good guy in that, funny enough. And Godzilla was wrecking house. That's what I mean. That GM, that guy was a badass motherfucker. Why can't I have that as a good guy? That's kind of what Godzilla Final Wars, my issue with that movie is that the fights are ed a bit too quick <laughs> a bit too fast but yeah you want to see a real Godzilla being killed the monsters kicking a lot of monster ass Final Wars is the way to do it and the, at least those other films there's some B-movie charm or a really quirky plot or weirdness like the Spock monster is one of my favorites because of how weird it is interesting shots like the roller coaster shot and you have this like weird, almost Bigfoot. Now you, oh, I call it Bigfoot. It's always in. I don't know how to put it. It's like that weird roller coaster, Godzilla in the distance. I still can think of it in my head. See it in my head. Nothing in this really stands out. It's kind of just almost by the numbers, but it it made it Godzilla King the Monsters movie kind of boring boring this film was and when I first saw it I'm like I guess it's a time waster but I had a lot of issues now yes I put it over 2014 Godzilla because it was nice to see Rodan it was nice to see Team Dodor it was nice to see Mothra that's a plus idea of the designs the look the visual aspects but it did have Carl Star Island in comparison had style 
oh shit moments. I mean, it has a cannibal holocaust reference. Any movie, a Teen Kong movie that has a cannibal holocaust reference, holy shit. With the, the guy <laughs> that's so excited. Fuck. But here, I don't mind the actors. Kyle Chandler, Billy Bobby Brown, even though I'm one of the only few people on earth that's still have not seen Stranger Things, I know. I don't have Netflix. But and she seems like a pretty good child actress. Vera Farmiga, Ken Watanabe, the actors are not the problem, but their characters are pretty boring. And you just say the same thing about Carlos Island, but John C. Riley had personality, was interesting, and the other people they were helped by the pacing and tone and feel and look of Constable Island, which just felt more like a fun, badass movie. Here, it's kind of a slog to sit through. And people go, well, Matt, you can't say a complaint is that Godzilla is only for 10 minutes. Just look at the older films. How about this? How about we try to Try to do a movie where Godzilla's in it the entire way. Have we tried that? Why don't we try that? It'd be too boring. Not if you write it. Not if you're creative. Not if you're imaginative. What, are people not creative? Are people not imaginative? What the fuck am I talking about? It's Hollywood. Of course that's the case. How about you try it? You just want a Transformers movie. I don't even like the Transformers films. There's always a balance to these things, too. How about you meet me in the middle? I don't care about the family dynamic. Maybe it could be interesting, but it just... It ends up with me going, I don't give a fuck. Vera Farmiga, her villain, but she's not really a villain. She has one of the dumbest plans. I'm going to release a monster one at a time because the monsters will, because of their radiation, make things better, make things better for the environment, fix things that we fucked up with pollution. Okay. Well, after the monsters destroy the world, what the fuck are we going to do? What was the plan? What was her end goal plan? Even if you're releasing these one at a time, One's going to be two, two's going to be four, four's going to be six. Like, you don't keep releasing them. What, they're not going to die off. So what are you... You say you're going to release them one at a time. What, once every two years? Once every two minutes? Like, what do you mean one at a time? You want to release them one at a time. What, once a year? Make it a fucking event? Ultimately, you don't have two and three and four, and then they're going to fight, and then people are going to die... And then, what was your end goal plan? You think humans could live in harmony like they're fucking Fraggle Rock? Live in Fraggle Rock! We're gonna live underground like Fraggle Rock? I mean, what was her end goal? I have no fucking clue. I have no fucking idea. I don't think she did either. So it doesn't have the B-movie charm, a lot of the older ones. The original, people want to talk about the original. The original had with the black and white and the lighting and the way the music, that felt. I don't want to say like a horror film, but it felt, you felt the darkness. You felt the seriousness. Here, I didn't. Maybe technically it's a more serious movie compared to other Godzilla films, but it just felt... When I watch the original Godzilla and I see the mom telling her kids, we'll see dad soon, and their dad is dead, that to me, pretty damn dark. You're not getting that in movies like this, and you didn't. So people want to keep saying the original Godzilla, I'm sorry, the original Godzilla is a lot darker and a lot more whole shit than this.
And yes, sometimes you do want to see Godzilla just going around trashy stuff, but it has nothing to do with the plot. I hate to break it to people, but that's one of the most popular things with Godzilla. That's what people remember about Godzilla. You may think it's pointless that he's just going around, walking around, crashing stuff, but that's the thing that has embedded in people's minds since they saw the character when they were kids. When you're a kid, you know, think about the serious intricacies of the plot of the 1954 Godzilla. You were thinking, oh shit, look at him smashing that and wrecking that. That's what you were thinking of. So uh, the plot, Vera Farmiga's plot seemed really fucking stupid. The uh, Charles Dance, I like Charles Dance. My sweet brother Numsi. I just see you're busy right now. Come back another time. I love my sweet brother Numsi. I like Charles Dance, but... He really, a lot of these people really had nothing to do, even though it was mostly their running time. And again, you want to talk about monsters, Mothra looks cool. She doesn't do anything until the very end. The... Who cares about characters in this type of movie? Well, there's barely any fucking Godzilla in this type of movie e either. And people talking about this is a wall-to-wall -wall action movie. What fucking movie did you see? I didn't see wall-to-wall -wall action. I told you, the first 90 minutes of this two-hour movie is the Rodan scene, which to me is the best action scene in the movie. The shitty two-minute fight where it's a goddamn rain and murky visuals of the darkness and maybe there wasn't rain it might as well be rain or fog how about some shine like rain and shine how about some shine in there and not jeffrey rush just fucking shit man let me be able to see the fucking fights like let me see sometimes i just want to shout let me see I didn't give a fuck about Chow Chandler's group. I didn't give a fuck about the supporting characters. Like the one dumbass guy. Where they talk about Dior. The one who is many. Do what? And the guy says, she said gonorrhea. Huh? Didora. A guy thought Didora was, the guy said gonorrhea. There's some of your great fucking dialogue in the movie. And this is the guy who did Trick or Treat, which is one of the best horror anthologies. And he did this shit. This is just boring and it doesn't have a personality. It doesn't, like, Godzilla vs. Megalon, as bad as people say it is, which I can understand, it had personality to me. It had fun, T ish, B booey personality. Small Monster it had trippy, acid fueled visuals. This one it has no personality. Even Constant Island had a personality to it, taking place in the 70s and. I didn't go in, go in there with the Tampa Holocaust, like all this other stuff. And then Godzilla, again, he, he has a shitty two minute fight, which mostly he's dead as ass kid. Then he gets killed by the humans, but then, oh, he's not truly dead. Then he disappears for an hour in the film. Then they wake him up where Ken Watanabe has the one nice emotional moment for a human. Where he says goodbye. Then they make, blow up the bomb. The white Godzilla up. But then he gets his ass by, hit by Team Dador. So then Mothra fucks up Rodan. Gives its life. It's Chi goes into Godzilla. Which I know that has happened before in Godzilla films. So your excuse is that. Hey they did it before. So let's repeat it. Hey they did that before. So let's repeat it. That's a good excuse. That's a good reason? That's a good rationale? And then even then Godzilla's didn't ask his, so then the humans have to help him. So it's like, two minute fight, gets his ass kid. Then he's dead. Hour, not in the movie at all. Then comes back. Then gets his ass kid. Then, here's my chi, Godzilla. Become the Highlander, there could be only one. Which I saw that done better in Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster where I saw lightning and stuff hit it and Godzilla looked like he got the fucking quickening. Yeah, I think it was Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. I think that was the one. There's like a scene. 
It's like, oh shit, Godzilla got the twitching. Now he's up and he's pissed. And then the humans had to help him. And then Godzilla's like, okay, now that I got all this fucking help. All right, Hulk Hogan, now do something. I can't even say that because Hulk Hogan would do it all himself. So I can't even say Hulk Hogan. I just... It was I don't think... People thought it was great and satisfying. Teach their own. Yes, I would rather watch the 1998 Godzilla. I don't give a fuck who I piss off with that comment. If you take the same movie and you put this design of Godzilla in the exact same film, the 1998 Godzilla, I don't think it would get hated on. I really do believe that. I really do. I like Matthew Broderick. I like Hank Desaria. I like John Renault. I felt more personality with those characters than anybody in this film. And I have more fun. I like the way 1998 Godzilla looks and the fact of using miniatures and the way he uses real helicopters and even the buildings. By how the helicopters POV going through the building. It looked like they had real miniature sets for the the city. I might do that, but just change the design of Godzilla to this. I would suggest people look at the visual aesthetic of the 1998 Godzilla, the way it used real locations, the real it had big practical sets, the how it would build big miniatures of their spins at Independence Day, watch the scene in the city where the helicopters are chasing that creature. Take the same scene. Now, imagine if that design is the actual Godzilla design and throw in some atomic breaths. That'd be pretty fucking insane. But people don't want to say that because I don't give a fuck. I'll say it. I'll say it twice on Tuesday. If you disagree, that's cool. That's what the internet's for. <laughs> but Godzilla's barely in this film yet again. Oh, well, in the past... Again, in the past, one of the reasons why is because they didn't have the budget for Godzilla. They didn't have the budget for it. Th those were pretty small budgets, those Godzilla movies. Do people not remember that? So one of the reasons they didn't have Godzilla in it much because... They cut into the budget to build the miniatures and destroy them. And now you got the budget, but we don't have the same slim running time. So you're saying because they did the same before, they should do the same now? That's another thing that's weird. Well, they did in the past. So if they do it 10 times in the past, do it for number 11, 12, and 13. Yet people want to say, we don't want to see the same thing. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to see the same thing? Because that's the excuse that it should be the same thing. That seems like the excuse I hear. And how about one goddamn fight scene in the goddamn daylight? Does Godzilla think he's Batman? He'd only be at fucking nighttime? With some fog and rain added in, so I can't see what the fuck's going on. And then again, the fight scenes, in the first 90 minutes, he has a two minute shitty fight. Really, the first hundred minutes, because he gets back and he's walking his fat ass over to the city. And then Mothra has some stuff to do, and Rodan has some stuff to do. For T and the monsters, basically go, where the fuck are the other monsters? But whatever. Let's get back to Kyle Chandler and his wife, the bitch, who is a bad guy, but then she's not a bad guy. But she wants to just let the world so that the environment will get better. But it's like, well, what the fuck was your end goal? Do you think the fucking monsters were seeing Kumbaya with the humans? No, ultimately they don't fucking eat all the humans. Fuck do you think they eat for food? I'm, I'm pretty sure some of them are going to be meat eaters. Like, mm, I'm hungry. Where's the food? Fish, fish ain't enough. That's a lot of fish. But... And the movie is fucking boring, and I idea why the credit took a dump on it. People want to talk about the original Godzilla. This does not have the dark gravitas of the original Godzilla. It doesn't. It does have the strong em emotional drama of the original. It does have the tishy B-movie fun of the Godzilla films in the 70s. It does have a Godzilla who's a fucking evil badass like GMT in the 90s. So what is it? 
pretty much a by the numbers mediocre film with some nice visual aspects of designs of Mothra Rodan and muddy muddled that's the word muddled visual fights that can people really tell me they remember the fights if you don't look it up on YouTube which I'm sure if you look up they'd probably be like 10 minutes long and that's with the Rodan battle on the city So it's like, I guess it is like Hulk Hogan gets his ass kit and then does a three, four moves and wins the day. So <laughs> Godzilla is Hulk Hogan. He's selling, he's selling. He does the punches, the boot, the leg drop, one, two, three. But that's why a lot of people don't rewatch Hulk Hogan matches. Instead, they go watch Bret Hart or Shawn Michaels or Stone Cold Steve Austin even or the Rock matches. Anyway, but Hulk Hogan did cut a great promo. Anyway, on other than that, yeah, I'm not a fan of this movie. I would never. I saw it online for free. I don't own it. I don't want to own it. If it was for five bucks, I wouldn't pick it up. No, it's not one of the worst movies ever. No. It's that fucking Michael Bay t Team and T 2014. It's not any of that. It's that Ghostbusters 2016. It's just a boring, mediocre film that just was a chore to sit through. It was a chore to sit through this. The characters they have no personality. Most of the movies about them. They have no charm. They have no fun and if you want the emotional gravitas I'm sorry it didn't cut it they tried where it was a dad versus a mom and a kid stuck in the middle but they didn't pull it off in my opinion they did not pull it off so that hurts and they just come off as bland and boring hence why I said I don't give a fuck So, there you go. And the fact that everything's CGI, I did it. It's 2019, this came out, but use some practical effects. Some. When everything's CGI, it loses its magic because there's nothing tangible. There's nothing physical there. Although I still rather watch this than shit Godzilla. Oh, I'm sorry, Shin Godzilla. I still rather watch the, this than that piece of shit. Fuck Shin Godzilla. But yeah, I'll go watch GMK. I'll go watch Godzilla vs. Mod Monster. I'll go watch the original from 1954. I'll go watch Terror Godzilla And others. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.